have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> Murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Great Barrier Reef. The robot's taking a beating out there! Looks like the robot's left itself vulnerable! I wanna play! I wanna play! Epic, we're not playing! We're fighting for our lives! I wanna play! I wanna play! Oh, all right! The old clothesline move! Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here! What a shocking takedown by Patrick! Oh! That's much better. Looks like Patrick has a big Should opportunity here. A lot of stuff around. Oh, nice flying uh, head thing move Ouch. by Patrick. Patrick's just getting too close to that metal Please monster. The robot's losing its head. Wow! I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match! That was fun! Your turn, SpongeBob! Oh? Uh... Whee! Spelling! The old clothesline move! Fresh like a spring breeze! Robot's vulnerability. Let's see if SpongeBob goes for it. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is like just sponge. about over. That robot is down and staying down. What an upset here at the Poseidon. That was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more. A golden spatula, and that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... <sighs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors.
Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. 